thank you for being with us again today. It's always such a joy. And I'm so excited because, you know, just like Elizabeth and Mary, there's things that make my baby jump in my womb. And I am with someone who loves Hebrew roots and the calendar and the feasts. And so my baby's jumping. I don't know about his, but Dr. Ben Lim, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me, Miss Jen. This, thank, this is awesome. Yay. Thank you for just your yes to God and your life and your ministry and just all the wonderful things. But before we get in our interview, let's go to this clip and just see a little tiny, tiny bit of Dr. Ben's life. Well, I hope that everybody will find you. Um, they can go on benlimglobal.com and find out lots about you, right? Absolutely, yes, that's correct. And Just they, Google me. Okay, yeah. that's even ben easier. Lim, yes. Okay, and they can order your book. Yes. Okay, so uh, we talked about it a little bit last time that you were here, but can you just give us a little infomercial on why they need to get this book, why it's so important? Absolutely, well, the New Breed book, it really encompasses uh, the word for this generation, that God is raising up the nameless and the faceless, people from the deep down dungeons, from down under, people that have been hidden for so many years and for such a time as this. So God is raising people up uh, with the power of God like never before. So the new breed, uh, you know, it, it's really about a new breed of apostles and prophets that God's raising up today uh, that is going to usher in the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, this book was born out of a 21 day revival. And uh, I believe it's a fulfillment of the prophecies of Bob Jones and Paul Cain of the Kansas City prophets. So there's a new breed and your name is written on it. So you're a part of it. That's awesome. Yes. So you get this book. It's very important. Get it for someone you love. Um, because there is a generation and they need to be affirmed in who they are and their identity. And you did such a great job. So you pastor in Los Angeles and the name of your church is Open Heavens World Church. Yes. I love that name. Thank you. How'd you get that name? Well, uh, you know, for a number of years, uh, my church was called His Way Life, uh, which was a name from my father uh, as, as he was my overseer at the time. And we we're praying about a name change. And of course, the Bible is filled with so many examples of name changes yes. and the authority, the power, the blessing in the name change from Jacob to Israel to from Sarai to Sarah, from Abram to Abraham, from Petrus to Petrus. And so uh, I knew that it was time for a name change. And in the middle of uh, the pandemic during 2020, we changed the name of our church to Open Heaven's World. And originally we wanted something with glory but uh, those names were taken already. Yeah. And I love open heavens. So the Lord said, open heavens world, because eventually this will be like a Disney world or a headquarters for the world. I love it. Yeah. Well, there's so much we can talk about, but I really think today what's burning on your heart, and I think it's very timely, is the significant meaning of 5783 in the Hebrew calendar uh, Hanukkah that we're about to embark on, Harvest, um, Isaiah 61, there's so much that we can unpack. So share with us the revelation that God's given you about these really important moeds, appointments, yes. God parties yeah. uh, with the Lord and, and how we can embrace them and then harvest personally what we need and then what the body needs right now. Absolutely. Well, the Bible is very clear that, like you said, the Moets or the Moeds, these are appointed times. And I like to tell people this is your God date. Yeah. So this is your appointment with God or your date with God. And if you're going to have an appointment with your boss or uh, with somebody you love, then you honor them by these uh, anniversary dates or these birthday celebrations. And these are God's anniversary or birthday celebrations. 
And a, a, a big one coming up, of course, is Hanukkah. We just passed the 10 days of awe yeah. uh, with the month of Tishrei. And now we're stepping into Hanukkah, which uh, is not one of the seven biblical moeds, but it's still a moed. And uh, uh, again, it's, it's like the eighth moed, an yeah. eighth, which means not of this world or from another world, from another realm. Uh, so it's important for us to celebrate because these are times of feasts. These are times of harvest. These are times of agricultural harvest and the ingathering of souls and saints. So I like to call these time portals mm -hmm. because this is a portal in the time realm that's opened up that accelerates and everything begins to accelerate. And how you approach a time portal will determine your quantum leap effect. Wow. So there can be quantum leaps or you can just be stagnant. You can just have one to one or one to three return. And how you approach these time portals or these moeet uh, will determine how far you leap in the next season. Uh, so Hanukkah, uh, of course, is the festival of lights. And yes. I believe that even as we end 2022, there's going to be a big bang. There's going to be big celebrations, fireworks. There's going to be big victories uh, in the political realm and the governmental realm. There's going to be big victories. So I believe that even as this year, 2022 ends, there's going to be fireworks. But of course, we're also already in the Hebrew year 5783. Right. And we're about to shift into 2023. Now, this is the most important year of our lives. Right. I believe with all my heart. And of course, with every year, every season, it's the most important year or season. But I believe this is the most important year of our lives yeah. because of what this year represents. And three in Hebrew is a Gemel. Yes. And Gemel... Uh, comes from the root word uh, gumel, right? And so gumel, which is the root word, it means recompense. Mm. And gumel means the dealing of hands. So this word gumel, which is the root word, it means recompense and the dealing of hands. So this is a year where God's going to deal with the dealing of hands. Ooh. And there's going to be a payment or a wage or the recompense, the retribution of what is rightly owed to you according to your hands. So there's going to be a washing of dirty hands. Mm. There's going to be an anointing of new hands. And there's going to be a, a feeling or a, a fulfillment within your hands. Amen. So I want you to stretch out your hands because this year, God's going to fill your hands with good things, treasures, and with deeds to lands at the harvest in this year of Gumel. So I want to share a little bit more because in this year of Gemel, of course, Gemel uh, means three. And Gemel, it also means three, which also means camel. So this is the year of the camels. Yes. And this is the year where the camels are coming to the church of the great transference of wealth. So the camels are coming Bring in provision, supply, yes. and bring in resources. Riches and treasures. Riches and treasures, yes, <laughs> Isaiah 45. Yes. So I believe that this year is the year where we're going to see the camels come. And again, Gamel in the Hebrew alphabet, it's shaped like a man that's running. Yeah, running man. And the running man, yeah. yes. Yeah. And it's not walking, it's running. Right. And it's also shaped like a foot, and that's why my foot is hanging out like this now, but it's shaped like a foot. Or a high heel. Or high heel, there yes. it is, yes, yes, high heel. Or boots or <laughs> yes. sandals, flip flops. Uh, but it's shaped like a man that's running or a foot. Yeah. Because I believe God's gonna kick the devil in the teeth. Yes. And, and God's gonna kick the devil in the teeth, and not only that, but your holy feet or your big feet yeah. are gonna walk in lands and places yeah. that you've never been to. So this is a, a year of dominion. Yes. Because the Bible says wherever the soles of your feet touch, naturally and spiritually, you're going to own, possess those lands. Yeah. So this year we're gonna take dominion in governmental spheres, in uh, agricultural spheres, media, in Hollywood, yes. in family. Uh, so this is the year of the comeback.